All right, here's the uh, first model in the 69s included in this collection. Actually, not exactly the first model, but the first one we're going to start with because there was a Chaparral. There is a Chaparral. It's coming up. And uh, this is a classic 31 Ford Woody. Classic 31 Ford Woody in orange. Actually, it looks pretty nice. Now this... Oh. <laughs> is it going to look a little different because... I had something go wrong with the camera right when I was shooting this one originally, so this is a fill-in section of the video. But anyway, just wanted to show you this orange woody. It's actually in really nice shape. It's got those eyes. Funny, the moon eyes. I love the way you put the moon eyes on that. It's really funny. I love the moon eyes. I mean, how do you not love moon eyes? They're so cool. I don't even know what it stands for, really. And uh, this one, orange woody, has a little bit of a crooked wheel that has to snap in a little bit. I think I did that earlier. It'll sit properly, but it tends to stick out. And you can't really straighten this one because the uh, the little thing that holds the inside of the axle in is is not quite uh, where it needs to be. And so you can jiggle it around and make that sit properly. But you're never going to race it through a supercharger, that's for sure. And then, just in case I didn't get this one in the uh, video, the... Uh, Olive T-Bird. Probably the worst car. Well, actually, there's one worse than this, but it's in pretty tough shape. Not only is it got heavy toning, heavy, heavy toning. It's so weird. And then lots of chips. Lots of play wear. People call this well-loved. I'm not so sure I agree with that. I don't think love includes abuse <laughs> of your Hot Wheels. Uh, I don't know if I should have said that or not. Anyway, that's all. Let's get back to the video. I got, um, for some reason, my phone just likes to shut off. I don't know what's going on with this thing. Anyway, back to this 57 bird. I was filming along, and then it just stopped filming. Olive, that one's in pretty bad shape. And this one, which isn't as in bad a shape. Aqua. Yeah, I don't know how. Hardly any of the cars in here are really used like this, but this these couple are kind of chipped up. Maybe they got them from the brother or neighbor or something like that. Anyway, not as pretty as this woody wagon up here. All right, what's next? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Custom AMX. Look at that. Red Custom AMX. That is a beauty. Ooh. Wow. Look at that beautiful, rich red color. Wow, that's pretty. That is pretty. Look at that motor. Shines like a diamond. Actually, it shines like many diamonds. Just beautiful. Grill is nice. Base is decent. Look at that. Nice. Oh, look at that. And you can see through the hole again. Hmm. Interesting. Tail end. Look at all the paints on there. Really nice. Red custom AMX. Love that. Love that one. All right, here's, let's go ahead and do the Grand Prix cars. Here's the Ford Mark IV, red enamel, the common color. Got all the stickers still on it. Well, actually, let me take that back. This is not the, the stripe that's supposed to be on there is with the black in it. This is like the aftermarket uh, from the stick-ons, the Hot Wheels stick-on, stick-arounds sheet. But it's got the side numbers on it, real nice. Excellent shape, got light wear on the back. Here and there, light wear. Actually, it's pretty nice. Got a little rub on the top there. Not bad. Decent looking, decent looking. All right, another Grand Prix car. Lola GT70, green enamel, USA version. Look at that. Somebody has highlighted Hot Wheels on that with a marker or something. That's funny. And we got light wear on the back. Got the aftermarket stripes here on top. Actually, you know what? I think this was the stuff you were supposed to use to tie this back down so that when it went to the supercharger, it didn't pop open like that. That's what that is. Decent wheels on there. Excellent shape. All right. Grand Prix. Is it Grand Prix or Grand Prix? Hmm. You tell me. Here's the gold McLaren. McLarens are kind of funny, hard to collect because, look at this. You've got two different pieces, and this one is light and nice, and this one is dark. Why can't they make a match? It has something to do with aging, because originally they uh, looked gold and bright and beautiful. 
But age gets to us all, they say, they say. All right, now for the Grand Prix cars, the best one of the Grand Prix. Look at this. Oh, my gosh. Something I have never even had before. A pink chaparral. A pink chaparral. Wow. Hot pink chaparral. Look at that. It's got all these silly stripes on there. Again, they were put on there to hold that back end down so you could send her through the supercharger. I'm going to get all of that off. Got to get all of that off. I'm not going to scrape it off with my fingers like I did on one of the cheaper cars. I'm going to take my time and be very careful getting that off because I want this car to not get damaged. Don't get damaged, you beautiful pink chaparral. I've never had a pink chaparral. So nice. Nice to see you, pink chaparral. Yes. All right. Oops, there we go. There we go. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, what else? Oh, we forgot the 36 Classic. 36 Ford Coupe. Red. Rumble seat. Decent chrome on there. One thing you'll find if you ever collect 36 Ford Coupes is that most of them are dull, this chrome piece. I don't know why. Really hard to find bright ones. This one's about half bright, I'd say. A nice color. Look at that. A little dark and bright on the this piece here. The rest of the model is darkened with the toning. With the little toning. But nice. 36 Ford Cooper Red. So what do you think of the 69 so far? It's generally everyone's favorite year. Favorite year. There's so many great models. Including the Rolls Royce. The gray Rolls Royce. Gray is the common color. Here's something common to the Rolls Royce. Paint falling off on the back. I don't know why, but that's just the way it is. Usually the trunk, it's not too bad on this one. This one's got a little dingy spot on the hood. Is that a spot, a stain, corrosion? What is it? What is it? Glue? I don't know what it is. There's just a little something on there. Otherwise, a decent, decent Rolls Royce. Every collection seems to have a gray Rolls Royce, paddy wagon, gray Rolls Royce, and jackrabbit. Those three cars seem to come in every single collection. Here we've got the Maserati Mistral. This is actually, when you find a Maserati Mistral in a collection, it's usually a pretty darn good collection. Because not every collection has a Maserati Mistral, but the better ones do. Generally means when you see this many really great cars in a collection, it means that the person had pretty good access or lived someplace where there were plenty of stores to go to or at least one good one. Not like me when I grew up going to Western Auto. They had like two cars at a time in stock. Coast to course, coast, coast to course, had none. Turbo Fire, Turbo Fire, Lime, Turbo Fire, Lime, run of the mill car, average condition. Look at that. One, two, three bad wheels, and the one beauty. Look at that beauty right there. That could go right on. Nope, don't need it over there. How about over here? Oh, yeah. That could go on this beautiful woody wagon, couldn't it? Yeah, yeah. Things like that happen. It's okay to swap wheels around because they're all original. We're not faking anything here. All original. Why are you sitting weird? Why are you sitting weird? Yeah, you're a little crooked. Yeah, we'll straighten that out. Watch this. Here we go. Mm. Not too much. No, let's see. Where'd the wheel wrench go? Hmm. Wheel wrench, where are you? Hello? Dang, I just had it here a minute ago. There it is. All right. Uh-huh. Tweak, tweak. Toodly deek. Put that back on there. You can swap wheels around on these cars. It's fine. They're original. Just don't put no fakes on there. No fakes. No fakes. The reproductions are really fake. It's a real. Reproductions are real. Lime. That one. And Torero. Look at this. Pretty teal color. Look at that. Pretty. Pretty. Hmm. 
wheels on this one are questionable, but the color, whoop, boy, my filming is questionable. Look at that. All right. I'm not like the other guys. I don't cut out the uh, mistakes I make while I'm filming. That takes too much time. I don't have that kind of time. I'm not a retired guy. I'm a workaholic guy. I can barely get everything in the day that I want to get done. Look at that beautiful gold. Oof, 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 oof. That is really, that is outstanding. Wow, that is pretty, wow. Huh. So sometimes you just realize, wow, you know, it's a common car, but uh, it just looks outstanding. Now this sadly has kind of a dull base on it. It would be nice if it was shiny and bright, but man, oh man. This car is bright. I don't know if I have one this pretty. Hmm, I'll have to look. Wow, there, I'm gonna go wipe it off here. This thing is pretty. Could just be these 19 lights I have shining on it. But, um, wow, let me look at it over here. Nope, I looked at it in the dark and it was shining bright even in the dark. That is a pretty splitting image. Hmm. We need to see more splitting images because a lot of times people don't collect splitting image. They just don't because they don't see how beautiful it is. I better set that one up there like that. That thing is amazing. And one more. One more 69. What is it? What is it? It's a twin mill. It is a twin mill, but it's a great color. You want to see it? Here it is. Magenta. The only thing, well, you know, twin mill is a great car. It's of the four. Splitting image, turbo fire, twin mill, Torero. The twin mill is the most popular of those four. This is a beautiful magenta. It really is. And this one has horrible wheels on it. Oh my gosh. Horrible. Just horrible. Oh. But that's easily remedied. That is gorgeous. Look at that little blackening. It's not blackening. It's just the chrome didn't quite take... That's okay. She's a beauty. We're going good with this gold splitting image. Oh, look at those two together. Isn't that neat? That is neat stuff. Come on, you guys. you got to collect more of these. This looks good in light green, too. This one doesn't come in light green, though. That would be cool, though. Fantasy color. I've always wanted to do uh, fantasy color, you know, have fantasy color remakes done. That would be so cool. Imagine the splitting this in light green. Actually, do any of those come in light green? Let me look in the book. All right, here's a little information for you to boggle your mind. On the splitting image, the hardest color to find, according to the book, is magenta. I don't think I have that. Magenta followed by creamy pink and then yellow. Then light blue, brown, and copper. I don't know if I've ever seen a copper splitting image. Hmm, interesting, interesting. Torero. Torero, the hot, hardest color is hot pink. That's a very expensive car. Light green. It does come in light green. Yellow, creamy pink, magenta. Man, oh man, there's a, like 18 colors you could find this car in. Wow. Turbo fire, turbo fire. The hardest one is hot pink. I've never even, I think I've only seen a few hot pink ones, never a mint one, and never one in a blister pack. Can you imagine the hardest colors in a blister pack? Yeah, can you imagine me not dropping cars? Yeah, no, that's not true either. Hot pink, light green, yellow, magenta, very tough colors on that. A lot of tough colors on these common cars. They seem so common, really. And then on the twin mill, the hardest color is brown. Huh. I, I don't know if I've ever seen a brown twin mill. Hot pink, yellow, creamy pink, light blue, antifreeze, magenta. Hmm. Wow. 18 colors or so. Wow, that's crazy. I think, well, that's all for this part of the collection 1969. And thanks for joining me on this a beautiful collection reveal. Early childhood collection. Brought to you by me, Dave Williamson, the toy car collector. Always looking for old childhood collections. Hot Wheels from the first five years, 1968 to 1972. That's right. Thanks for joining me. Be sure to check out all my videos. Leave your comments below. Be sure to subscribe. Ring the bell so that you're always updated 
as the videos come out. Thanks for joining me, and we'll see you later.